name is Michael Jeffrey Stevens. I'm from New York. I was born in New York. And uh, I started playing piano when I was five years old. And, uh, and then I played in rock and roll bands when I was in, in, in high school. And then I started playing jazz uh, when I was 20 years old. I'm Joe Fonda. I'm the co-leader of this group with Michael, the Fonda Stevens group. I'm a bassist and a composer. So I met Joe in 1984. We were playing with a saxophone player named Mark Whitecage. Mark Whitecage is a, a great American saxophone player, about 20 years older than us. And uh, he turned out to be our teacher, our mentor in the, in the, in the free jazz music, OK? Back in the 1990s, I went back to college, I went back to the university, and I studied at the Queens College to get a graduate degree in jazz. And the teachers at that college were, were Donald Byrd, Sir Roland Hanna, and uh, Jimmy Heath. First of all, like Michael, I came up in, in, the, in the 60s and the 70s. I was playing the blues playing uh, a lot of rock music, you know, I was deeply into the Allman Brothers and um, uh, Buddy Miles and, and uh, Howlin' Wolf and uh, Hendrix also, so that, that's my roots. And then I found my way to jazz in 73 when I left high school. I decided to go to Berklee College of Music. Then after my father, there were people like Leo Smith, the great trumpet player Leo Smith, a huge influence on me in terms of his concepts, in terms of his composing and, and playing. The other big influence on me was Anthony Braxton, who I played with starting in, in 95, I think. I played about from 95 to 2005. He was also a huge influence on me. When I think about sound first. Uh, an example would be, I can scratch the table and I, I can start to hear the music and the scratching on the table. I can start organizing that. And there's no melody, no harmony, no rhythm, but there's a sound here and I can shape it. And that's sort of what I mean by saying a sound conceptualist, in my opinion. In the beginning, the band, the, the, I think each instrument had a more traditional role. You know, so the, 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 the bass and the drums had a certain role and the piano had a certain role, you know, harmonically, and then the, the trumpet had a certain role. But I think now, over all this time, all the instruments ha have, are, are equally important and, and roles can be reversed. So, for instance, I play a lot of rhythm in, uh, in my approach to the piano, which is actually a, percussion instrument anyway in the orchestra. But even when I'm playing electric instrument, I, 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 I will play a lot of sound rhythms. And Joe oftentimes will play melodically over that. And sometimes Harvey on the drums will play melodies, you know. And Herbie sometimes will, will, will play rhythms. So the, so the whole basis of the music is now has now moved to a place where we can organically express what we feel without so much of the limitations normal limitations in the in the in the roles of the instruments <laughs>
At this point, composed music is, is more of a sketch of our ideas, you know. And then uh, uh, that sketch uh, can be shaped many ways, so it changes every night. And, and the improvisation is, is always going on. So I would say in, in a concert that we play, if it's one hour concert, I would say that you know, only maybe eight minutes of it is really written. Everything else is, is improvised. So, and even those eight minutes is not played the same every time. I'm still trying to express my, my aesthetic in music is I just want to create something that's beautiful. That's my, that's not the band's aesthetic, but that's mine. So even though I might make the weirdest sound you ever heard on the keyboard, I'm still trying to make it, you know, in a, in a pleasant way. But there is humor in the music. Yeah, there's, there's always humor in the music. I mean, when we're standing on the, on the stage, we're just having fun. You know, we're, we're, we're fortunate enough that we can stand on the stage and, and we know each other and we can just have fun. And the, the audience usually is able to, to uh, come along you know, with us because we're just having fun and so they can have fun. I love Bartok. Bartok is my number one composer of all time. I'm not saying that because I'm here. I think I'm here somehow because of that. I think the universe has brought me to, to Hungary because of how much Bartok has influenced all my music. I hear like the concerto for orchestra, I hear that in my head all the time. I, I can hear the whole concerto from the beginning to the end just when I'm walking. Really my philosophy about music now is that the future of music is, is going to be found in the collaboration of cultures. Just the same way that the, the, the economic reality of the planet now is, is, is global. The internet, you know, everything is, is global. Everything reflects to everything else and everything relates to everything else. Well, I think that the power of music now is going to be the power of cultures combining and finding something new.